Let me summarize what we are going to do in this video. There is a mouse in a maze. We have to help the mouse to get out of the maze with the least number of steps. The program will be developed in three stages. In the first stage, the mouse will have no memory and no strategy. In the second stage, the mouse will have memory and a basic strategy. In the final stage, the mouse will have memory and a strategy based on probability. The focus of this video is how the mouse is getting out of the maze with a small amounts of memory and a simple strategy. To compare those stages, we need some measurement. I am going for a simple measurement. The number of steps the mouse took to reach to the exit point. That may not be the corresponding time and space complexity of the program, but for the sake of simplicity, let us ignore it. The program will be developed in Python by using the take in the graphical user interface. The main structure will be given in a file. Here hash represents the wall of the maze. M stands for the starting position of the mouse. E is the exit point. This maze structure will be stored in a two dimensional array. In the first stage, mouse will choose direction randomly. Since it have no memory and no strategy. Let us look into the code. Importing some packages. All the four directions. Reading the maze structure from the file. Getting the initial xy coordinate of the mouse. Drawing the maze. It means drawing all the walls. Drawing the wall, drawing the mouse and drawing the footprint. Wall is a green box. Mouse is a blue box and the footprint is a yellow. It is a main row function. It is accepting the xy coordinate and color. Is wall, is exit. Now here is the main function. Getting the main structure and storing in a two dimensional array. Initializing the xy coordinate of the mouse. Creating the window. Setting the title to the window. Creating the canvas. Attaching the canvas to the window. Drawing the maze. Mouse movement starts here. And event loop. Uh, let us look into the move the mouse function in detail. Uh, steps is a variable where we store all the where we will store uh, the number of steps mouse taken. Inside the mo move the mouse there is a infinite loop. The loop will iterate till it get a valid direction. Valid direction means there is no wall in that direction. Based on the direction we need to change x or y coordinate. Here you can see that one. If there is no wall in the direction, just to get out of the loop. Once we got a valid direction, first we will draw the footprint of the mouse in the current xy coordinate of the mouse. Then we will update the latest xy coordinate of the mouse. Then draw the mouse. Here we increasing the steps. If mouse is in an exit position, just print the total steps. Otherwise, 
register a callback to be invoked after 10 microseconds. Till this point, the code is same for all the three stages. Only change is happening here, getting the new direction. Uh, here we invoked get next move random function. This is a function we defined for stage one. Let us look into that function. Here defined all the four direction. We are randomly choosing one of the direction. Let us run this program now. Let us run this program. One of the observation we can make, it is roaming around the current location for a long time rather than quickly moving from one corner of the maze to the other corner. Another observation we can make, it is unnecessarily going backward. Mouse should not go backward unless it is in dead end. Hope it will reach to the exit point soon. Yes, it is reached. It took almost 4300 steps to reach exit point. Let us develop a stage 2 program where mouse won't go backward unless it is in dead end. Let us look into the stage 2 program where mouse have a memory and a strategy. You can see we defined a variable here. It is the current direction of the mouse. Get next move no backward will return the direction. So here uh, the function accepting current uh, current uh, xy coordinate of the mouse and current direction. Let us look into the definition of that function. Here defined uh, all the four direction. If the mouse is not in dead end, we will remove the backward direction from consideration. Here we will return the one of the directions. Below defined is dead end and get direction backward functions. Now let us run this program. You can see it moved from one corner to other corner quickly. Yeah, it has reached to the exit corner. It is hard to predict when it will reach to the exit point because it is moving from one corner to other corner quickly. Yeah, it is uh, rated. Uh, you can see it took almost uh, 3100 steps. Earlier it was 4300. So almost uh, 1200 steps difference. We saved almost 25% uh, steps. And uh, what is the lessons we learned from the mouse movements? Earlier we learned uh, we should discourage going backward. Here on lesson we can learn we should encourage taking sideway directions. For example, if mouse is moving from left side to right side, uh, up and down direction are the side directions. If it is moving from 
up direction to down direction left and right are the side by directions let us develop stage 3 program where mouse will be discouraged to choose backward direction and encouraged to choose sideway directions let us look into stage 3 program get next move prop is a function used in stage 3 that function accepts current direction let us look into the definition of this function this function is a pretty much big let us break it down here we defined the three probability high probability is 35 percentage normal probability is 25 percentage and very low probability is 5 percentage we know that there are four directions so normally each direction should have the chance to be selected 25 percent of times uh, here we assigned high probability to all the direction later we will correct it here we are assigning normal probability to forward direction here we are assigning very low probability to backward direction here one of the direction chosen based on the probabilities let us run this program here mouse is not too quickly moving or too slowly moving stage 1 mouse was roaming around the current location for a long time in stage 2 mouse was moving from one corner to other corner quickly but here it is in between it is not too slow or too fast yeah it uh, reached to the exit point you can see 2800 steps it took earlier it was 3100 steps almost 300 steps difference maybe 10 percentage okay uh, this is all bye